What's happening, Internet friends? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about a couple of the species here of uh, different types of plants that I have purchased at big chain stores and go over what you can expect to see, uh, you know, after three, three or four months of growing and them acclimating, dropping their leaves and what they'll, you know, look like afterwards. But first we're going to highlight the, this right here, all of these long, skinny stems you see. This is from a bulb plant. Uh, this is called the Apuntogen natans. Now this is really awesome. I, I'm going to explain to you where I got this. Let me move this light so you can see the flower. It started blooming and here it is. And they actually duplicate this way so it'll pollinate through here somehow. I need to research how it's going to pollinate. I might need another one but and drop another bulb. So <sighs> Let's talk about a Apuntagentin bulbs to begin with. This is the first time I've had this one, and they're always a surprise, and let me tell you why. Uh, if you go to PetSmart or PetsCo, um, I prefer PetCo because what you'll get is a pack of uh, Apuntagen um, bulbs, and the majority of the time you're going to see when they bloom, what I see people getting the majority of are these right here where I'm pointing at. That's an Apuntagen ovaceus. And I've got another one right here that's growing. Now those bloom first. Uh, you never know what kind of a puntagen, a puntagentins are going to be in those bags, but it's been my experience that the larger ones uh, tend to be the ovaceous. And also, I want to remind people that when you buy these, have some patience. Now look, look down here, right here. This one has been in here the same amount of time as all of these which has been three months or longer. And actually the ones that sprouted first was the Ovaceus. So there's one there and then there's one in this back corner. And the ones that sprouted last were the more exciting ones that I've never seen. And I, I have had an Apuntagen Crispus and that I also noticed was a tiny bulb. This was a tiny bulb too and it didn't start sprouting until about a month ago. Um, and it, I've been counting once a week, it grows one new leaf every week. There'll be a new one. And as you can see, there's another one right here and it starts off flat and it flattens up. And yes, I had to put this tubing. I made this tube circle. Yeah. I, I jerry rigged my, uh, fish tank, but the reason I had to do this was because the frog bit was being blasted around by either this or the bubbler at night. And it was spinning in circles. It was uh, spinning these leaves in circles until they broke off. And this is this was the result. And I was like, okay, something's trying to happen at the surface. So I need to I need to stop that. And I had I hadn't had this plant before, you know. And it's really exciting. So when I saw that break off, I was disappointed. But I immediately made this so it has a spot for the leaves to come out and grow flat, and then get this awesome flower which is a baby it'll grow longer it does grow two prongs of uh, white and purplish looking flowers which is amazing ha have some patience um there is another bulb back here right here that's starting to uh bloom and um that one will be a surprise i don't know what that one will be either um All right, so uh, like I said, it can take up to three, you know, three months or longer. If you've got a bulb sitting here resting at the bottom, and it doesn't have white fuzz on there, and if you pull it out, at, you know, every couple of weeks and smell it, and it doesn't smell like, um, you know, like like ammonia, you'll know when it's gone rotten, you know. So just have some time with these, you know, because like I said. This one right here, my favorite one, was in here for nearly three months before it started doing anything. And look at it. Um, the Ovaceus um, started blooming almost immediately, you know, within a couple days. So take your time with those. My favorite um, are definitely, if you go to Pet Co., you'll get a pack of just all Apuntagen Ovaceus. If you go to Pet Smart, they're going to give you a pack, and their pack will come with... 
um, a puntagens, two puntagens. It'll come with one onion bulb, and it'll also come with one um, uh, dwarf lily bulb. Um, I go with the ones from Petco because, yes, you'll get some ovaceous in there, but then you get these mystery apuntagentins, which are all part of the same family. And, and look, to, to my surprise, and in one of my other tanks upstairs, I do have an apuntagen crispus that I got. So, and there are a lot of species. It took me a long time to figure out what kind of a puntagen this was. I had to do a lot of digging and comparisons until I knew exactly because I hadn't seen this one before. Um, but, I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, so, going around the tank, uh, everything here came from PetSmart and Petco. Only one plant did not, and that's in the back. That's the Valisinaria. And if you look, let's see if we can get a better light on here. You see these this line of bubbles coming off of it? It's photosynthesizing. See, that's oxygen coming right off of there, which is great. Uh, I have my parameters perfect in here, and yes, it was not easy. Um, anything over 400 um, TDS, your plants won't photosynthesize. I have learned this. I've, I've been dingling around 400 TDS, and I have to keep it around that because my inlers and guppies won't breed if it's lower than 400 and none of my shrimp can survive in a tds above 400 so they're living in the max and i do have babies it's hard to see because this is a huge tank so if we get lucky you know maybe we might spot well there's one cherry shrimp but i have blue dreams in here i'll do another uh video on those but also right here these ferns a lot of people think that java ferns do not melt, which is not true. They do. They will melt. Some may make it, but the rest won't. But before they do, if you can see here, where I'm pointing at, there's a baby growing. Now, I'll do a, a separate video on this on how to pull them off and then plant it. But you can see that I already did that back here. This was a baby growing off a leaf that I harvested. And it was growing off of a leaf that I just left submerged, like this one. This one fell off. I didn't pull it out because I know that they're going to grow babies. And see, this one's got maybe five or five or six babies growing off of it. Then when they've got roots long enough and a leaf long enough, I know it's okay to separate it off of this leaf. And then I can ditch that leaf. And you will see here where there's new java fern growth. This is uh, the Bulbitis microsome. If you want to know how to plant this, I did do a video on it. Um, you can kind of see where the old ones are kind of thinning out and wanting to snap off. But this new one was grown completely underwater, so it'll be fine. Um, but that's what's great about this plant is, you know, is they, the way that they duplicate. They will grow new ones like this, but the old ones before they die, bef you know, even if they have already fallen off, they will start producing babies. And look at this one right here too. This one was off of the Asian water fern. This is a tip right here. And this one I, I really need to harvest and plant it somewhere. It's starting to attach its roots to its Anubias. And anyone who thinks that uh, Anubias or Java ferns don't melt, haven't, obviously haven't been doing it for, you know, a while because everything melts. Um, these are temple plants that I've been propagating. Yes, the leaves look terrible, and that's because these were grown immersed. Uh, so, but you can actually, when you first buy them, I buy the full adult ones, and you can snip them at each node right above it, and it'll start growing a new one. And that new one will be completely aquatic. And I'm going to show you an example. That's this one right here. Now, if you'll see, I had snipped it at the node. And a new one started to grow. Now, eventually, that bottom stem is going to become waterlogged. And what it'll start to look like when it's waterlogged is this right here. See, it's kind of clear and translucent. That means it became waterlogged. And I'll snip this off, bring it down, and I'm waiting for a new sprout to grow between these two leaves at the top. And those two leaves is the beginning of a new plant that is an aquatic plant. And eventually, yes, you'll be shortening it until you get all the way down to just like this one right here. And it's starting over. Like, see this one? Here's, here's another example. This one started all the way over. It was a tall plant like this one that I kept shortening and shortening and shortening until I got to the one that was grown completely underwater. 
So it'll start over and it'll grow all the way up to the surface. And then over here, what I did carpeting with are cardinal plants and up front here are repens. And I have done videos on how to separate those. If you get them at PetSmart or Petco, um, they will come in uh, agar that, you know, gel substance. And, uh, I have videos on how to properly plant those and handle that. And then here is, these are my red uh, cryptocorns uh, or red undulatas. If you go to Pets, uh, Pets Mart, they'll be at Pets Mart. Um, and here is uh, Cryptocorn Parva. And then in the very back here, that's uh, Winty. Winty green, so cryptocorn green. And I found the Parva and the Winty at Pet Co. The red undulatas came from Pets Mart. Um, and those take the longest. Um, over, over three, four months, every single one of these leaves will drop off. It'll grow new ones. And I have explained before in videos that it causes dwarfism. So the size that they are in the bag, yeah, when they acclimate to your tank and they regrow, they're going to stay around the same size they may get about an inch bigger but not much you know so keep that in mind if you're like studying cryptocorns and looking at how big they are and it says like you know mid ground to background plant and they get massive that's only true if you've if you uh, purchased it submerged um, if you bought it and it was tissue cultured in agar it causes them to be dwarf size and this is max size and if you go back videos you'll see when I first planted these how big they are and what color they were. Um, so anyway, uh, I don't want to drag this out too long, but here's another look at the flower. It's looking great. And uh, we will do more updates. Uh, please, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please ask me because, um, you know, I'm trying to help beginners, who, uh, people who just randomly decide that they want to have live plants in their tank and Usually that happens from going into a big chain store and you see a really cool plant. And there are a lot of steps that you need to do and you, in order to keep them going and thriving because they're, they're not grown the same way that they would be grown at, at like nurseries. So, But if you do your due diligence and, you know, and have lots of patience, um, they will grow. Also, in other videos, I've shown how I cut all the roots off of my um, Anubias. And you can see right here where there's new roots that are growing and they're clinging onto the rock. And look at this guy. It's growing. I cut all the roots off here and it decided, you know what? I'm just going to grow one root straight down. <laughs> and uh, here's another example of a baby golden Anubius. See how its roots are kind of gripping on? This was a, a baby. When I got it, it was just like a seedling with one leaf. And I have a few of these. Uh, potted in the holes of this dragon stone but yeah you can see right there little fingers gripping on all right guys thank you for watching again if you have any questions about any of these plants um, you know I was trying to cover as much as I could um, without talking all day but uh, you know feel free to ask a question hit the like hit the su subscribe button I'm trying to help out all you beginners so you know you have a question do not hesitate to ask Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.